Rebuilt NRM has been extremely active during 2021-22. We've been doing lots of things in the field. Our team has been very busy, particularly in the area of sustainable agriculture. We know farmers in the wheat belt are challenged by all sorts of things, particularly climate change, and wheat belt NRM have been helping them make changes to their systems and try new things. Here's some of the things our sustainable ag team have been doing over the past 12 months. I really think we need to look at alternative ways to produce our, our crops and, and livestock with um, less of those inputs. We we're using more and more chemical and fertiliser to get the same yields. Felt really strongly that it probably wasn't sustainable. The brave and courageous thing is making that first step. And then you start on a small scale trial things and then it gets bigger and it goes from there. We're fencing off remnant veg on quite large scales. The trees and the, and the native animals, things that come back into those areas, it's, it's massive. Fast track forward 30, 40 years now, still improving the soil. We just want to build a sustainable business and a sustainable farm. Just that sense of pride, you know, we are doing the best we can with animals. We're looking out for animal welfare, we care for the landscape. When you've got a good story to tell, that feels successful. One of the most important things we do at Wheatbelt NRM is work with our local community. Our local community are really interested in protecting flora and fauna and we have a dedicated biodiversity team who work in that area. Here's some of the things that they've done over the last 12 months. We're trying really hard to find a balance between a productive and a vibrant human community as well as a stable and a beautiful ecological community and, and it's a real juggle and we need lots of people out here working together to achieve that balance between production and conservation. The landholders are partnering with us to achieve an end. It's amazing the knowledge that farmers do have because they are out in these environments all day every day. Honestly like all of the people that I deal with they just care, like they really just care.
I'm very proud of our Noongar Budja Rangers team. Part of what we do is maintain Aboriginal employment. They are very, very important to us and their work is important to them too because we have Aboriginal people working on country and healing country. It's young men working on country and delivering the message back to the communities from their elders. I wanted to become a Noongar Ranger to help look after the country. We get advice from our Elders Advisory Group and that's very important to us. Our Rangers are involved in a whole range of activities and many of those are commercial activities. That is providing services to private providers, collecting seed, processing sandalwood nuts and things which are really important to the wheat belt. Part of growing up I used to go out the bush with my grandfather Kevin Davis who was an elder. So he taught me a lot about the bush and traditional ecological knowledge. There's a few jobs that we've done already that you go out and see like the trees are slowly coming up and it's like, man, we've done this work and it's good to see it all come up. In that short amount of time, we've gone from one contractor to a number of contractors in, in a short period, which sells a message that we're doing something pretty good. Well that's just a sample of the sort of work the Wheatbelt NRM have done over the past 12 months and none of this would have been possible without the effort and dedication of our hard working team.